Good morning. First and foremost, thank you to all that have served this great country. Really appreciate it. I'm driving to work uh, because of your sacrifices and keeping us free. So thank you so much for everybody who's sacrificed their lives uh, to to give something uh, back to this country. So just thank you for anyone, everybody who has served. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, on that same topic, so to speak, uh, on a VA loan, this has come up again and again and again. We keep on putting out stuff every time things happen with mistakes and what people should be doing. Uh, when you do a VA loan, when you finance a VA loan, the first thing that the lender needs to do, and once again, this just came up a couple weeks ago, is to basically pull a certificate of eligibility because if you're a lender, if you're a veteran and you got a pre-approval by XYZ uh, mortgage company from the lender um, and they haven't pulled your certificate of eligibility on the front end, then that's a major, major issue, okay? Because then you're not really pre-approved because if you're not eligible for VA loan, what difference does it make if your debt to income ratio falls in line? Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing is I had, had an agent call me earlier this week. Uh, I guess it was 41 days in the contract with a current, supposed to be a VA lender. You know, it's one of these lenders you see on TV all the time uh, that they look out for them and this, them. What people don't understand, it's not like a bank account. It's not like a checking account that you're opening up. When you're dealing with a VA loan and you're dealing with the secondary market, you better have people who know what they're doing. Uh, if they don't, then that's gonna be a major, major problem. It's not just going down the street while well, they care about veterans and so forth, and they don't do the work on the front end to, to make sure, hey, can we use all the income? Hey, can uh, is the employment make sense? Do they do all this other stuff? If they don't do that, then this is what happens. 41 days in, uh, they can't do the loan. And now, it's not just that, uh, trying to move into the house, you have the sellers trying to move somewhere else, so now you're, it's a ripple effect. But I'm amazed how many times I see these commercials that they, these so-called VA lenders really want to protect their their veterans, and they don't even pre-approve, they don't even like pre-underwrite the file. You know, you've got somebody who's got income, base income, and they've got uh, bonus income. You can't just use the bonus income if it hasn't been, uh, if there's no history for it, you know? So, I mean, it, it's just, to me, it blows me away uh, that, that that these people just, oh yeah, we're for veterans and, and so forth, and they they really don't do the work on the front end. And I'm not talking about hard, hard, this is just basic mortgage 101 stuff. Uh, and it's it's pretty sad when that happens. This veteran got sick, he got so stressed out, he had to go to the hospital, and now he doesn't have a house right now. All because the so-called VA lender that we see on commercials all the time didn't do the work on the front end. Uh, and a lot of these people aren't seasoned mortgage professionals that you see on TV. They just, they put them in there. Oh yeah, you know, I served and so forth, but they don't know the details of what you got to do on the front end to make sure crap doesn't blow up. And that's exactly what happened on this. And when I started hearing this story from a realtor, I started getting really pissed because to me, it wasn't complicated stuff. It was very basic stuff that you need to flush out and get everything vetted on the front end to make sure they can, you know, purchase a house without any issues whatsoever. So, you know, every pre-approval is not made the same. Uh, any and and you know, realtors who watch this or see this, they know exactly what I'm talking about. When you get somebody could be just grabbing some basic information, not diving deep enough. Yeah, you know, um, you know, the, the bar says I make, you know, five thousand dollars a month. Okay, well, is that base? Is that bonus? Is that part commission? And instead of diving just, I'm not even talking about deep, just a little bit below the surface, this is how crap blows up. They don't know what questions to ask, or they don't care, and they don't dive deep. And here's the thing, I've always told my loan officers and my team members, I'm never gonna know all the answers, but I know what questions to ask so I can get the answers. And if you don't know those, or don't care to know those, or aren't trained to know those, this is what happens. It blows up. This poor guy had to go to the hospital because he got so stressed out. It's a horrible story, absolutely horrible story. So anyway, no pre-approvals are made the same. Um, so if you take anything from this, what we can do, not just for veterans, for anybody who's purchasing the house, we're gonna dive deeper, we're gonna do all the work on the front end, we're gonna pre-underwrite the file, we have that access to our underwriters, 
uh, we can get it in and get it out and, and basically get all those questions answered so nothing, nothing blows up financially, okay? We take this very seriously because it's the, we, we say this all, all the time as well. It's not about us. It's about 25 plus other people associated with each transaction. Uh, it's not just that one borrower. It's not just that one agent. You're dealing with both agents, title companies, everything else. So uh, please, 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 it, you know, if you go with, with another lender, I totally get it. It's not a big deal, but it is a big deal if they're not doing the work on the front end. So you got to, as a borrower, you got to ask those questions, uh, unfortunately. So if, if they don't ask, them, all right? Everybody have a great Veterans Day. If you need anything, we're, we're going to be working this weekend. Uh, all the banks are closed. We're not. Uh, so we will continue to work uh, throughout the weekend. If you need anything, today we're working. Driving to the office here already. Already done some work this morning. If you need anything, please reach out. Uh, comment down below or shoot me a private message. Uh, and uh, Or text us at 423